Hey there guys, welcome back. We're going to be doing a little fuel injector work today. Uh, we've got a nice little set of secondhand 750cc injectors. Just got the seal kit in yesterday. And today, I'm going to show you how to take your old 450s out of your 2G DSM and throw in a nice set of 750s. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and stay updated. So, let's get into this GSX 750cc fuel injector install. Oh yeah, look at that pretty valve cover. If you guys want to see how I did that, you can go back and check out the episode a few back and tell me what you think. Uh, so, today's episode, it's going to be 750cc fuel injector install. And first thing that we're going to want to do is come over here to our inline fuse that is hardwired to our fuel pump. And instead of removing the fuse that's in our fuse box for the fuel pump, we're actually just going to pull this 30 amp out. And we're going to go in the car, crank it a couple of times, make sure we use up all the leftover fuel pressure that's in the line so it doesn't spray a bunch of gas out. And what we have to take out is on this side, there's a 10 millimeter on top and bottom for the fuel feed line from the fuel pump. On this side, there is a 10 millimeter on the top and another one on the bottom, which is also a 10 millimeter. We're gonna rip those out, and that's, I believe, our fuel return line. Then we have to take out the three 10 millimeter bolts, one here, one here, and one here. Also, we're going to take out our, I believe this is our PCV, we're gonna pull that out to give us some space pull the cruise control cable up out of the way uh, and then we just have to gain access to the four injectors which are underneath these clips right here so there's four of those we're gonna start taking all this apart if you want to see how to rewire your fuel pump I got an episode on that a few back so go ahead and check that out and you can see how to rewire your own 2G DSM fuel pump or 1G I'm pretty sure they're pretty close to the same so anyway, I'm going to throw you guys off to the side. I'm going to start taking some stuff apart, and see you in a minute. So we finally got our fuel rail free. Turns out you only need to take out the two bolts on the feed side and the two bolts on the other side can stay in because it's a flex line. Now if you look at these fuel injectors you'll notice that they are pressed into the rail and there's an insulator on the bottom, a seal, that seals it into the intake manifold. And we're missing the number two seal and the number three seal. And if you look down in there you can see the seal in the hole right there so we're gonna use a pick and try to retrieve that seal and we're gonna do the same on the number two cylinder actually it's the number one cylinder and the number three cylinder so I got myself a set of handy little picks here I'm gonna try to retrieve those and then we're going to wipe out the surfaces where the seals go in make sure they're nice and shiny and clean this last one looks alright, but we're still going to wipe it and make sure nothing falls in there, no debris. Then we're going to start popping injectors out and stick in our new injectors and reinstall everything. So I'm going to throw you guys off to the side one more time. Maybe another time after that, who knows.
All right, guys, so after some fighting with these spacers up here, which I should probably mention, make sure you grab these off the back of your fuel rail. They sit right down in those spaces right here, and they will fall out and get lost forever. We've got all of our bolts out. We've got our old fuel injectors out, and as you can see, they're pretty ugly, nice and rusty. So these have turned into rock solid plastic basically. So I think this is probably the root of some of my boost leaks. And if you look inside of the fuel rail, you can see there's a little bit of rusty, nasty fuel coming out, which is not a great thing. So I think that's actually just bits and pieces of these old O-rings. So I'm gonna spray those out with a little parts cleaner. And then we're gonna start throwing our new injectors in. And yeah, I'll show you in just a second. All right guys, so here's a quick comparison for you. These are the old Rusties, these are the new Shinies. They, again, are second hand, so you do see a little bit of surface rust on some of these, a little bit of markings, but they do all work, and I just replaced the upper seal, the O-ring, and the seats on these injectors. So they're basically identical, down to the plug and the body, body style, everything. So, uh, the only thing I'm noticing is they're just a little bit longer, and I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. So what we're going to do now is clean out our seats down here, wipe them out with a towel, make sure nothing falls into them. And then I've got a little trick I learned from Jaffro Mobile about how to keep your spacers in place while you're installing your injectors. And that, my friends, is RTV Black. So I'm going to throw you off to the side, start cleaning this up, and then we're going to start putting everything back together. Should be fun. So as you guys can see, everything is put back together. If you did happen to notice, I am missing my fuel injector clips for my plugs. So looks like I'm going to have to hop on stmtune.com and see if I can find a set of those. Don't want those coming off. But looks like we've got everything hooked back up so far. Our 750cc injectors are in. If you notice, our fuel pump is still disconnected the fuse is laying right there on top of the battery we saved our old fuel injectors just because you never know next we're gonna hop into our little happy math translator box do a couple of adjustments and see if we can get this thing to fire up all right guys something I wanted to add is when you get your math translator open you want to definitely take note of where your settings are for your 450 cc injectors just in case something happens 
But now we're going to consult the happy little table of MAF translator. And we just did 750cc injectors, so it looks like auxiliary is going to go to 6, and our base is still going to stay at 2. So we're going to change those settings, and we're going to zero out our idle, mid, and wide open throttle, and see if we can get this thing to start up. All right, now that everything is thrown back together nice and tight, we're going to make sure that we have no leaks. So we're going to put our fuse back in our inline power supply to the fuel pump, and we're going to go in the car and just turn the key on, but not start the car. All right, guys, so after some serious tinkering, we got this thing put together. I messed with the math a little bit. Your settings are going to be auxiliary dial is going to be 6, and your base is still going to be 2 for 750cc injectors. Uh, I had to enrich in the idle four clicks after I installed them and got it started. This is where the idle is sitting now. It's warming up. Hopefully it drops back down a little bit. But uh, yeah, that was a fun time. We got the 750s thrown in, and uh, that's basically it for today's video, guys. So if you liked it, drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe because we're going to have some really cool parts coming in the mail over the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to be doing our turbocharger and exhaust, some other maintenance, and uh, yeah, it's been fun, guys. So until the next video, take care.